Now, I was accused uh, last week, and I, I don't know. This is up to the listener to decide, but I was accused by my compatriots, the chill chums, of not being very chill and, uh, and, and being sort of ratcheted up and uh, coming in hot. And that may be the case. I don't know. I'm, I'm humble enough to accept that I am, uh, despite incredible powers, uh, I am a human and flawed. And so it's possible that I was not chill last week. And if that's the case, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. And I will try to be more chill hmm. during this episode. I'll do the best I can. So with that in mind, let's, uh, let's begin. Uh, Sona, it's nice to have you on the show. It's very nice to be here. Well, you don't, yeah, okay. You seem, <laughs> you seem, <laughs> okay. I don't want right. to, we were just talking about murder in the summer. And so I realized that's not a very chill topic to bring up. So I have nothing to say right now. Because well, all I have in my people. mind is murder. Okay. Be before we came on the air, uh, on the air, before we pressed record, whatever we, uh, is the correct term. Matt, what's the correct term? I think press record, but you know, it's a general recording. term. I think people yeah, forgive you for that. Okay. I don't understand uh, the podcast format. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually still don't understand television after doing it for 27 years. So uh, <laughs> you'll forgive me uh, if, I, if I'm a little clumsy in my wording. But mm -hmm. the point we were, before we started this episode, we were all just chatting. And of course, I would say the one thing the three of us really have in common is and maybe a lot of people have this, but we all are very obsessed with murder. Mm. Uh, I love, and uh, I don't love murder. I mean, uh, that's a terrible thing to say. Uh, yes, in a perfect world, I would be able to murder. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> uh, but I understand that there are social conventions and laws and uh, I, I don't want to go to prison, so I will not murder. What a despite my sick thing to say, okay. Despite my insatiable desire for murder. <laughs> And the constant <laughs> voice in my head that says, murder, murder, you know it's what you want. You know it's what you're good at. Sometimes that's not just in your head, by the way, that you say that out loud. By the way, I'm, I'm saying this, I think, in a very chill way. You did, uh, you did come in fairly chill this episode. I want to say I, you didn't come in hot. And you know what? My tone is still very chill. As I tell you, <laughs> my, greatest, my greatest desire in life uh, is to, uh, to wantonly uh, murder you know, rob other people of their lives and get away with it. Um, oh so there oh, you yeah. go. That's, uh, and I'm just you know, saying that as a chill chum. Yeah, it's not before on the you record. Even, before you even said that, if you did murder and someone came up to me and said, hey, did you ever think he'd be the kind of guy who'd murder? I'd be like, yes, absolutely. Yeah. He yeah. talks about murder all the time. I'm obsessed with murder. And, yeah. and what's, what is interesting is that Sona, you know, I hired Sona, um, we all do things. We later regret, but I, okay. I did hire, <laughs> I did hire Sona. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Unnecessary. Terrible. Unnecessary. Terrible. I love you, Sona, but oh. I did hire you. And one of the things we did early on, because I had just moved out to Los Angeles, this is like 11 years ago. Uh, we just moved out to Los Angeles. Sona and I were, I think we were somewhere in the car together because we had to do something. And you said, oh, wait, this is near the, the, you know, the scene of the first Manson murders, uh, you know, the on Cielo Drive. We were on Benedict yeah. Canyon, which Benedict was- Benedict Canyon, you yeah. and then the two of us were immediately like, oh, we've got to go up there and see it, which I know sounds ghastly and, uh, and, and everything, but we were both, we both knew every single detail of, you know, Manson and the whole history of Manson. And that's when we realized, okay, this is something we have in common. We have mm -hmm. many things that we're, that we aren't in common, uh, where we're, we're not alike. Um, I could go on at length about those. Okay. Uh, nope. You know, Move on. Okay. I, uh, yeah. I cherish America. Oh wow. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay. I, uh, I uh, whatever. But there, I, you were I'm not telling gonna... a nice story about us looking at the house where you know. Yeah. What a nice story. What a, a nice <laughs> story nice tale about driving of us up... retracing retracing <laughs> the steps. Uh, uh, but we knew all the people in the car. We knew then, you know, then about what they did the next night. We knew, we knew everything. And then I realized that 
whenever I'm traveling or going anywhere, the first thing I try and look for is a forensic files because they show one after another, after another, after another. And I just watch those. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm fascinated with that stuff. And Matt, you have some interest in murder? Yeah, I suppose I grew up in the place where the Night Stalker did his night stalking in Whittier. And so it was really kind of big in the community, obviously, at the time. Right. That was a big story. That was a yeah. big thing. Yeah. And my wife was in a play with a guy who did a double murder and dismembered the bodies and spread them throughout a park. Oh, uh, my God. Wait, yeah. this what? is not chill. 